to my beautiful ninja and welcome to my first video ever yeah I'm not really happy actually uh, and welcome to my first official video so for my first official video I'm going to talk about something that related to my team for this channel that is anime and music so as usual let's start with today's topic so today's topic is going to be the five type of anime fans. As an otaku, I usually meet with other otakus, and usually they have different attitudes. Because since we're human, we have different attitudes, which is pretty obvious. And but there is five type of people which I think that I really dislike for some reasons. So let's start off with number one the shy one easy to say that the shy one are very expressive when it comes to their passion towards the anime when you ask a certain question about anime they usually will deny it because they're really shy to share their love and passion for anime which i think is really sad because as a otaku we should express our love and are available towards other people so they can the people can throw rocks at them. They are sometimes act weird on their own way because since they don't know how to express their love they usually act in a certain type of uh, attitude which sometimes I take it as an insult sometimes <laughs> uh, and for example uh, I met with this one person once in, in school and we've been friends for six years and it takes him for six years to come out of the closet and say that sh he likes anime what? did you really know got me just now? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Not trust you. Not trust you. Oh. Putatsu, the obnoxious one. Obnoxious one is like the words explain it well. The obnoxious one usually is a little bit of annoying. They like, uh, unlike the shy one, they like to express their love over. Over and just that they like to repeat over. Uh, but the obnoxious one is not like the way of rule. The obnoxious one is more like to express their passion and love towards the anime and otaku culture by showing it off. For example, is that business school? Oh, oh, do you know that 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 pretty fat guy like you are? Yeah, he 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 loves his business. Hey, you know where are you going? Yeah, the business school. Hey, come on, I'm going to tell you more. Hey, hey. Oh, is that Shoko Geki no Soma? Oh, do you know that boy no Soma? Yeah, she, he made me the, the blue red girl. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool, right? And, now yeah, Soma wins the, yeah. Very cliche, you know? It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, you remember that the time when Soma and the girl, and when the girl was shot, was bad, Wait, is that Nora Gami? Oh, you know that 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 what a good name? What 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 Sakura? Yeah, she 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 has the long hair with the pink 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 soft pink hair. 
She made it with their god named Naruto. Pretty cool, right? So you know what what I meant by nauseous. They they're the type of kind of person where everybody hates him or her, and they like to learn everything of anime so they can show it off to other people. And they're really annoying, and most of all, they how do you say, jakun, or or you like to call it astago. I don't know what the meaning for. Uh, I like I don't know what the word in English. But I like to call it just, just Jakun. Okay, the third type of anime fan is the normal plebe. As you all well know, the normal plebe is everywhere in otaku culture. Because uh, they're easy to spot. You just question them, what is their favorite anime? And they will usually answer, Hey, I've been thinking, what is your favorite anime actually? Oh, you. My favorite anime, huh? Naruto. You know that, that, that pretty, nobody knows about Naruto, only me. I watch every episode. Caption only watch one. And yeah, you know the Dragon Ball? I just, nobody likes it except me. They usually get hyped up at the same thing over and over and over again such as the new Shingeki no Kyojin season 2 which is just at this month which people, many people get hyped up when I'm here hyped up for Shingeki no Bahama I really like that show if you don't, go watch it, I really recommend it, it's epic so yeah, there's no need more explanation about normal plebs. It's simple. Uh, the fourth type is I think that I hate the most is the nerdy type. This is the person you really hate to have a conversation with. Cause every time you try to tell a fact, they will correct you even when they're wrong. Uh, they will usually go like this. Okay, so did you know that Superman can defeat Goku in a battle? Nah, no, Superman cannot beat because you know that sometimes I say Superman cannot beat because Saitama cannot beat too. Because you know, so Goku must be. Yeah, kill us all. Uh, unlike the normal play, it's easy to spot. You, they usually go like. Uh, FYI, uh, I think this character origin is 3D wrong. I saw I saw in the manga it's different, so the anime was wrong, and mostly like that, like this, like the act that I just showed just now. The fifth one, is, uh, the fifth one is similar to like the fourth one, but I like to separate the categories since usually this type of anime fan. <laughs> Not so annoying, unlike the nerdy ones. So uh, the fifth one is the critic. The critic, uh, most of them, the one that I met is not so of a dickhead. They are kind, sporting person, unlike the nerdy one who likes to correct me every time I try to tell them facts about anime, even though I'm right and they're wrong. And but the one thing I hate about the critic, they overly deep analyze about a certain anime or topic that related to otaku culture. They sometimes even critic opening and ending, despite the opening and ending doesn't even related to anime at all. I actually got that one friend, but rather than analyze opening and ending of an anime, uh, she likes to. Uh, analyze porn. <coughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> it does not pause. They even critique an anime, an a, and a good anime, 
the airman critique good anime but in a bad way just for reasons because they just want to critique everything so and no one can even stop on their way oh, but, uh, yeah. but have you seen it and what's your opinion about it? Yeah, I don't recommend it but it's bad the animation is more terrible than every Chinese cartoon and the soundtrack oh no pero 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 The six is I think I give this a really special place on the sixth place. And you know what it is. Come on. Guess. Have you guessed it? No? Okay. Have you guessed it now? Okay, I'll give you time. Six! And I think the most final type of anime fan will not the least is... And the sixth place I think is one of the special one is the Weibull. And... Unlike the other type of anime fan that I just spoke in this video, the Weibo is much special than the others. Because it's easier to spot on. Because uh, basically Weibo is like a disease, it has its own syndromes. And one of the syndromes is they're usually fat, no offense, they usually wear glasses, no offense, and their face is broken, no offense. And they usually stank, like they didn't take a bath for one month. No offense. And they usually kept this like a collection of anime merchandise. They kept Samurai Saw on the wall. They post anime poster there, here, here, even on and in the toilet. They even keep what do you call it? the um, the anime mannequin. I don't know how they got it. I think they sold it online. But for me, though, it's kind of creepy to actually keep them one in in the house, especially when you live with your mom. Even though you're living in the basement, but still you're living with your mom. Your mom will be there seeing you keeping all this stuff and be like, action. Hey, hey, did you drink my? What the hell are you doing, Mike? I pray to Lord Deku, which is fighting for me up in the sky. Man, that is bullcrap. What? How dare you? I have the power of Saitama, and I can defeat you! Well man, I'd like to see you do that. Let me see your power. Challenge accept. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one that we fun. Okay, okay. Alright. Despite their annoying, despite their obnoxious attitude, despite their really loud attitude, I know how to describe the same word as obnoxious, but they're the one who keeping the otaku culture alive despite them being all trash. Because they're the one who keeps spreading the love, who keeps spreading the knowledge about anime in a really good way, unlike the critic and the nerd. So I think we, at least we appreciate the wearables a little bit. 
just a little bit just this small so that's all for today uh for my five oh sorry i mean six type of anime fan i hope you guys enjoy my video and uh just a reminder this is my first video so i'm really nervous making this video to be honest so i'm kind of startled so I'm, and i apologize for that this is my first time but i hope you guys uh leave me a like and leave a comment below telling me what was your opinion about my video give me a feedback or something just to let me know whether i did good or bad so hope you guys enjoy and please subscribe. Terima kasih.